I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make monogram designs in four different ways using Cricut Design Space, starting right now. Hello and welcome back to the Go Needle channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create multiple different designs of a monogram. Let's get started. So to start, I'll show you how to make this design first. Now this design in a monogram it usually goes first initial of your first name and then first initial of your last name and then the first initial of your middle name. So for me that would be BMA. So to do this, what you want to do is first of all type in your text as the, as the initials or monogram letters that you'd like. For me, BMA. Now the font I'm using is called Free Monogram Beta. Now you can download this font from defont.com. If you go right here, defont.com is a website where you can find multiple free uh, fonts to use for your projects in Cricut Design Space. Now we're going to use a few different fonts from defont.com for today's project. So to do that, I'll go ahead and search monogram to show you the different fonts that we will be using. As you can see, there are multiple different monogram fonts here. The ones we are specifically going to use are Monogramos by Woodcutter, right here, as well as Free Monogram by Kelvin Ma, and then Round Monogram by uh, FreeVGDesigns.com. So in order to download these fonts, it's a really simple task. All you have to do is click download on the font that you would like to use and it'll pop up right here as a zip file. Once you do that, all you have to do is click save and it'll save into your downloads file. And once you do that, you want to open it up, show it in folder and here you'll see it. All you have to do is right click and click extract all and go ahead and extract it. Once you extract, it'll come up as a unzipped file. Simply open that file and find the true type font file or open type font file, whichever one is listed. Go ahead and simply click on that file, right click again and click install. Now I already had this installed in my device, but once you do click install, it'll simply prompt you to install the font. Once you do that, you're going to want to open up Cricut Design Space and it'll show up in your fonts uh, area. However, if you already had Cricut open, you're going to want to restart Cricut so that it registers that the font is in your device. Once you do this, you can simply go up to the fonts tab, search for monogram or whatever you like, and you should find your font. Now, to make this font to look exactly like our monogram, we want to ungroup the letters first by going to the top and click ungroup. They have each letter separately. Now the way I like to do it is set it so that the middle letter is about half an inch bigger than these two side letters. So I will adjust the height of these letters. I'll keep the B to oops, my bad, the B to 1.5, the A also to 1.5. I cannot touch 1.5. Perfect. And the M to Two. Perfect. Now once you do that, all you have to do is align the letters roughly where you want them to be and drag select the entire image, go to the top where it says align, and then center them vertically. This will align them so that they're exactly aligned against each other. And then you can align them to distribute horizontally. Now as you can see, it'll show up just like this and you can adjust this however you'd like. First of all, I'll make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. I will. I want to move these letters closer to the B, so you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard to adjust it how you like. I want something like that. Um, there, that looks perfect for me. Once you do this, all you have to do is drag select the entire thing and group it back together. So that way, it'll come like this. However, to finish this, you want to actually attach them all together because if you try to make it when it looks like this, it'll come as separate letters. 
So in order to combine them, we want to select the entire thing and actually click Weld. Once you weld it, it'll be one singular image that when you go to make it, it'll cut and print exactly how you want it to. Nice and combined. So there is our first design. Now our next design we want to work on is, we just worked on this one, is this one where it has BMA in a sort of circle. Now this one and this design right here are very similar. However, there are two different ways to make them. I'll show you how to make this design first. So to do this, you want to go to text and type your letters once again. For me, it was BMA. This time you want to use one of those fonts that we are going to download. That font will be Monogramos. You can go ahead and search that monogram. Oh, it's right here. This is the font you want to use. Once you download this font, you'll actually have each letter come up individually as a monogram. So in order to adjust this, what we want to do is first ungroup them, just like we did. And now each letter, it'll actually come up individually as a circle, not each individual letter. So what we want to do is get the B of the left side from the first, the M from the middle in the second, and the A from the right in the third. So to do this, all you have to do is go into shapes, get a square, and then make the square cover the circle. Once you do that, you want to drag select both the square and the circle that is under it, and go ahead and slice it. Once you slice it, you'll come up with a few different slice results that you don't need. These two circles right here are the ones we don't need. So both of those you can delete. Once you do that, you are left with this. Now from here, we only want to have this B from the left. So to do that, all you have to do is go into the contour tool in the bottom right. Now you want to hide the portions that are not the B. So to do that, you can simply click over here, the square and the circle, and then you can go into the actual um, this image right here and click on the letters all the parts that are not that B. Once you do that, you simply cancel out and here you are left with that B. Now you want to do the same thing with the M from the second. So simply, oop, not images, go into shapes, grab a square, cover the M completely and select slice. Then you can go ahead and delete these two slice results. Now you have this, from here you want to go into contour and then click on both the square and the circle and then get rid of both the M's on the side. Perfect. Once you do that, simply cancel out and you are left with this. You can adjust this to fit your circle exactly how you want it to, just like so. There. Perfect. Now we want our A from the right. So, oop, I keep clicking images. I need a square, not an image. Simply drag over the whole thing, select and slice. Go ahead and delete both of these slice results. And then from here, go back into contour, select the square and the circle. And then both all the parts of the A that you don't want it will be these and this. Oop. There we go. X out. Now you have your A. So from here, simply drag down so that it fits the circle perfectly. Adjust it just how you'd like it to. Like so. And from here, all you have to do is align it using the center vertically. And then you want to center horizontally as well. Oop, nope. Sorry, do not center horizontally. You want to distribute horizontally. That makes it so that the M is in between the B and the A perfectly. Once you do this, simply drag select the entire thing and group it. Once you group it, it'll show up like this. And if you, and as you know, when you go into make it, in your second one, it might not come exactly how you want it to. So what you want to do then is simply select the entire thing and weld. This will combine it so that it prints exactly how you see it. 
Now if you want it to be the same color as what you did before, you can simply change the color to a black, black perfect, or any other color you like, it's completely up to you. Now the other way to make this is by using the font, but a different font, and this way is a little bit easier, but it still takes a little bit of time. So what we want to do is grab our letter B, and however we want to change our font, go to monogram. Now what we want to use is the, where is it? Here we go, the round monogram center from one of the fonts that we downloaded. So sorry, for the B we want to use the left side since the B is the first letter. So if you do that, as you can see, we have our B right over here. Now this isn't exactly like that B, however it is simple and, just, and works perfectly fine. Now from here what you want to do is Control C or copy. You can copy the same thing here and then paste it two times. So you have the same size with all three letters. But now we want to click each individual letter and oops, change the text that it comes with. Sorry, that was, I actually deleted the letter. There we go. Change the letter that it comes with, make it an M. And then we want to change the font as well to the center one for the M and for the last one change the letter to A and of course change the text to the right. Once you have that you have each letter which a, with a different font one with left, one with center and one with the right. From here you want to drag select the entire thing and align them vertically as well as distribute horizontally not align horizontally, I made that mistake a little while ago. And here you go. Now from here you want to group it as well as weld it. So it'll print exactly, sorry, yeah, so it'll print and cut exactly how you see it. Now our final design, if you saw it, was the baseball monogram, like this. Oop. I don't know why it's not showing up. There we go. So, BMA. Now this part right here, we use a different website actually to make it. So to do that, go into Google Chrome and you go to this website right here, monogramframes.com. Now this is an extremely simple website to use. All you have to do is simply type the letters that you want, B, M, A, and it will automatically make the design for you. Now there are multiple different fonts you can use the one I showed you was this baseball one right here. As you can see, it made the font exactly how you want it to. You can also make it a two-letter font, a three-letter font. You can do singular letter fonts or uh, flat um, straight fonts. You can change it to however you would like. Now for purposes, I'll use the one that I showed you, which is the baseball font. All you have to do is click download your files. Simply accept your terms and you can save it either as an SVG, PNG, DXF, or all. So for Cricut Design Space, we are going to want to use a SVG file. Once you do that, simply save the font, or save the image, how you'd like, baseball monogram, and save it. Once you do that, you want to go back into Cricut Design Space and go into Upload. From there, you want to upload the image that you just saved as an SVG, which is right here, the baseball monogram. Now from there, you want to simply open it, so it'll show up, and save. Once you save, all you have to do is simply click on the image and insert the image. As you can see, it shows up right here, exactly how we want it to. We'll go ahead and hide the other one, and this is already grouped together. So all you have to do now is um, put it to print and then cut. So these are the four different designs you can make in Cricut Design Space for a monogram. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Make sure you subscribe for more cool videos like these on Cricut Design Space.